Nature's best, Bobtail. Welcome back. You're tuned in to Expressa here on SABC3. And right now, we're sitting down with animal behaviorist Karis O'Brien, talking about something, Karis, that I don't think a lot of people think about when they get new puppies, and that is getting them used to foreign objects. Because mm -hmm. I think if you don't do it, you are shooting yourself in the foot for, you know, when your puppy grows older. So Absolutely. why is it so important to, to really get them used to, to foreign things? Well, when puppies are small, like Bella is, Bella's four months old, good yeah. girl, um, puppies have to get used to the fact that People change shapes, and by change shapes, I mean we put hats on, yeah. we wear big jackets, we put on helmets, we put on backpacks, we hold umbrellas. If you get a puppy in summertime, like Bella is, you're yeah. less likely to wear big winter jackets or hold umbrellas. And I've yeah. worked with many a client who got a summer puppy, yeah. and when winter comes around, the first time they walk out of the closet with a big fluffy jacket on, <laughs> um, your dog can actually panic because I've never yeah. seen you in such a different mm. shape. So it's very easy to prevent that because right. when puppies are little, which we've spoken about a lot on the show, they have to get used to everything. So yeah, that, especially like with like Bella. I mean, yeah, imagine bringing a dog into this environment for the first time. Yeah, can be overwhelming. And because Bella grows up here, she's quite yeah. used to it. Ah, oh, Bella, but she learns a lot from Bob, of course. She does. Yes. So, so to prevent this, very, it's a very easy thing to prevent. It's just something that people may not think about. All you need to do is get out your umbrella uh -huh. and talk to your dog. Okay? Just Hello, like my that. Nunu. Just like that. <laughs> now, you can see, and I'm going to give her a little treat. Yeah. Now, because Bella's little, she's not bothered by this. Yeah. When puppies are young, like Bella are, they're not stressed by new things because their mm. brain is open to new things. And you need to capitalize on that by mm. introducing them to lots of new things. If she had seen this for the first time when she was about seven months, yeah. she might get very worried about it. So okay. just do this a few times. Have every different member of your family do it. Yeah. Offer up a treat as you do. And same thing if you ever ride a bicycle. Put on your bike helmet or a motorcycle helmet. Yes. And the other thing to do is to put on a jacket with a hoodie, okay? <laughs> and again, if you do this properly, it'll seem a bit boring because it's like, yeah. oh, the dog doesn't care. Yeah, Hi. exactly. How's it? Especially with a hoodie because that changes your whole appearance. Absolutely. I can see why it's so important. Yeah. It, what it does, sorry, let me just get that off. It changes your outline. Yeah. Okay, now the way dogs' eyes work is they tend to see a little bit more of an outline than the details of you. Mm. So if you, ever, if you have a small child you're going to carry in a backpack, get your puppy used to that, even if there's no child yet. Get right. a backpack anyway and walk around with it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that. So, so it's really investing some time, you know, into your puppy. Yes. Now, what, what about the fact if you have an older puppy already, that's, that, or an older dog, that might be scared of something, for instance, like a hat or sunglasses, mm -hmm. how do you approach that? You do it very slowly. So if mm. you have a dog, like if you've got a rescue dog or an older dog who's who's worried about that yeah. kind of stuff and you can tell if a dog is worried they kind of back up and their eyes get big and they bark it's quite obviously yeah. scared put those things on but at a distance mm. and throw treats at your dog for example right. um, and talk to them very clearly you can also put the jacket on slowly sort of like one sleeve at a time yeah. or hold the sunglasses mm. and gradually bring them up to your face and take them right off so, so your dog know it's still you you, that, oh, you change shape, and that's okay. And, yeah. and the thing to do is to stay very relaxed yourself. Mm. It's easier usually if you sit down because you look a little bit less intimidating. Yes. And, and make a conscious effort to expose them to the scary things frequently, but for short, happy periods of time. Awesome. Now, what are some of the effects that, you know, because I'm sure dogs react differently, you know, to certain situations. You mm -hmm. get dogs that might retreat, but you can also get dogs that, that, can, that can physically attack you mm -hmm. if they're not used to something, right? Yes, you can. I mean, I've had, as I say, I've had dogs I've worked with who almost tried to attack their own owner because they got such a fright. And the response is essentially the same. It's just like people. Some dogs, when they're scared, their instinct is to bolt. And some dogs, when they're scared, their instinct is to bite. But either way, it's because they're scared. Mm. So if you have a dog that might actually bite you, you probably need help from a professional. But if you can just tell the dog is the type who would rush at you, mm. rather use a leash. You can get someone to hold your dog on a leash and slowly introduce them to it. And mm. then once the fear is gone, their instinct to kind of mm. fight or flight will go away. Exactly. And this is also probably a very important point if you do get a rescue dog that you've adopted, mm -hmm. you know, to, to kind of assess, you know, what things he or she are scared of mm -hmm. and then and then trying to work with that with those those elements. Absolutely. And you get some some rescue dogs are very well socialized if they've yeah. grown up in real chaotic circumstances nothing bothers them yeah. and then you can get the other dogs who are quite if they've been mishandled they're just scared of everything and yeah. you can work with those dogs you just have to do it slowly you have to sort of put some thought into it and they can get over stuff absolutely awesome. Karis thank you very very much and Bella you have been an absolute star come here Michael just take a look at Bella isn't she just the cutest cutest thing guys stay tuned we'll be right back